The Collaborative Touring Network began in 2013 with the idea that touring in the UK could be different. We wanted to connect inspiring artists with new audiences in spaces that communities already occupied, in towns and cities across the UK that had typically been underserved by arts funding. BAC sent a national call out looking for people that wanted to make a change. An amazing group of producers answered. In six years we've produced 84 festivals across nine locations. We've toured the work of 46 artists into over 300 spaces and reaching tens of thousands of people. We've supported the work of artists local to the festivals and basically kick-started a cultural revolution in these towns and cities. We're able to bring work into the centre of a community that, that hasn't thought theatre was for them. It's been about engaging with real people on the street, people who don't have a theatre background, and they've been able to access the best national touring work in their community in a way that's felt accessible. So financial barriers have been removed. The sort of etiquette around theatre has, has been taken away. It's been on their level. It's, it's meant that you can come as you are. So we don't have a fully equipped theatre space that allows us to programme national touring work on a regular basis, but CTN has allowed us to do that. We have put work on in cattle market, pop-up spaces, office spaces, indoor market, community centres, drama studios, libraries, a boxing club, museums, and heritage sites, and village halls, sports centres, Hub, a residential home, business centre, sheds, schools, beaches, hotels, yeah. dockyards, oh, boxing gyms, libraries, a sports centre, yeah. ballroom in the hotel, and out in the open in streets. I think that's probably it. That like closeness with the audience that perhaps people aren't used to but love and come out raving about. And then you've got the wrap around all of the engagement activities which create much deeper connections throughout the festival period with different groups and different audiences. My son is autistic and he's in the show. It gives him an opportunity to be in the environment, be a part of the community, whereas on a day-to-day -day basis you can't cope with those situations. Such a combination, really, of music, theatre and dance. I find the performance is mesmerising. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I um, wasn't expecting to come along tonight and I've had a great time. Yeah, Brilliant. definitely made me come along to the old courts again. Yeah. She was laughing, she was wanting to get into the actual scene, the actual stage, everything. To the point that I had to keep on holding her back. <laughs> but no, she thoroughly enjoyed it. At the start I didn't really know how to beatbox, now I'm, I'm better than I was before and now I can sing, beatbox and rap. And suddenly there were these extraordinary dancers on stage from Gloucester with their parents there and the parents were cheering and it was, it was completely electric and to have them work with that company and to feel that that quality was possible in our city suddenly made us both think we need to put young people at the heart of what we're doing. CTN has been an incredible launch pad. And, and six years later we're now a national portfolio organisation and we have eight members of part-time staff and we have a year-round programme of, of national touring work. The change in Thanet generally has gone from a place that was <laughs> pretty shut over the winter to a place that is thriving now and I like to think that we've had a hand in making that change happen. I am now not thinking of myself as I've become disabled and now I can't do that. What I'm now is that my experiences are now part of what I can give to Darlington. We're kind of a thing that holds steady around which other activity can start to bubble up. Mm. Um, so we're seeing that have a trickle-on effect in terms of regional artists believing that they can make work, yeah. tour work, uh, young people growing up who are seeing that arts as a, a career mm. for them. Yeah, we deserve it. We deserve this high quality stuff. We deserve to have things that make you think and change people's lives. Why do we not deserve that? If CTN didn't exist, we wouldn't be getting this theatre and we wouldn't be getting all these different ways of changing our thinking and experience in life and seeing other people would just be stuck at home on the computer or in front of the telly.